Today I'm going to show you how to draw a path that looks like steam, and then define the settings for this path to be filled with clear dry ink when printed. Paths can be drawn freehand using the Path Draw tool, but I'd like to use an image as a tracing template. So I start by importing an image, and I'm going to use this coffee steam picture as a template to trace. Place it on my form. And now I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Then I select my Path Draw tool, and I make a path by clicking on the form. Every time I click on the form, a point on the path is created, and this is what enables you to make curved lines and irregular shaped objects. So I'm using this image as a tracing template, and I'm just going to click around this image and to enable the path to be filled with clear dry ink, the path has to be completely closed. And that means both the beginning and ending points need to be connected. So I'm going to continue clicking until I get as close as I can to where I started drawing the path. And then double click. And that's going to automatically close my path. So next let me just delete this image so you can get a better view of just the path. Now to format the path, I select it and then right click, choose Format Path. I'm going to start by choosing a border style of none because I don't want a border, I just want it to be filled with clear dry ink. Next I'm going to choose the Fill option and then enable the other color options so I can get to the color selection window. Now I don't want this to be just clear dry ink, I want it to have a little bit of color so I'm going to select a very light pastel color and then to enable clear dry ink, all I have to do is type the percentage of clear dry ink I'd like in the clear dry ink percentage box. So I'm going to type 100. Click OK. Click OK again. And now on screen you see my little clear dry ink filled steam path. And this is what it's going to look like in Proform Designer. The blue outline means that the, the borderline thickness is zero. It's not going to print that way and when printed it'll look like this and you can see the clear drying prints with just a little bit of sheen it gives it a very nice effect